Hey guys, today we're gonna be putting a $10 Canadian tire exhaust tip on this Aprilia 1100 something 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 V4 something I guess uh, whatever V4 1100 factory There you go uh, So basically we took this thing off already that's the back part of the exhaust and it sounds pretty good but uh, this piece right here it points exactly towards the tire so we don't want to preheat tires before we go out so we bought this thing it's curved a little bit and it's got these little screws in there so we're gonna we're gonna put that on there instead of waiting six months for an exhaust and see how it works out so basically uh, he will explain how to take this thing off pretty simple but uh all righty take a ratchet right to this bolt here loosen up your strap it's left not right <laughs> Yeah, this is probably, in terms of mods, the cheapest thing per, or in comparison to the value of the bike you could probably ever do. So, this is like a 0.00001% of the bike. So, we're gonna see how it works out, see if it works, see if it doesn't, see if it sounds like shit or it sounds better, or if we're still melting tires, but uh, yeah. It is pretty simple to take off the exhaust. It's basically a bolt for the clamp over there. And then one little bolt here that uses an Allen key and a something size wrench, looks like a half inch wrench. And you can basically just take this thing off. It doesn't have any sensors, so you don't have to worry about, if you do take it off and just put something to, on it, you don't have to be worried about. Some of these Aprilias do have those cables though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like cables? But this one does not. Like to hold up the exhaust? Yeah, they have a little cable like right behind the exhaust here that just... Oh, okay. Well, this one does not. This is a 2016? Yeah. 2016 1100 factory. So, some might have more, some might have less. I doubt they have less, but uh, yeah, pretty simple. We'll see how it works. Yeah, takes like three minutes to take off those two things, and uh, yeah, he's gonna. And yeah, you just twist this off, gentle as you can. And... That should be, yeah, that's loose enough, right? Okay. I and yeah, to make sure you uh, don't do this right after riding because you might burn your hands a teensy bit. Yeah, definitely will. Probably should have somebody hold the bike, but this is good. It'll work. Come on. Moving? Oh yeah, it's just slowly. Come on. Twist it more. It's coming. There we, go. we don't even know if this tip, wherever it is, will even fit. So yeah, you also have weight savings, better track time. Ah, <laughs> it's almost a little too big, but we'll make it work. We basically just want to divert it away from the tire, which that would be perfect. Pick up an adapter, I guess. Yeah, but this will work. We'll try it out. So yeah, this this thing has like two Phillips heads screws. Uh, yeah, just loosen that. It's probably gonna be probably not gonna look or be the best, but it'll divert the the sound. So that's all we need. Or divert the heat. All right, I loosen these things a little bit. I'm gonna see if it works. It definitely doesn't look perfect. But our goal is not perfect. Our goal is ten dollars to not have the tires melt. Exactly. Yeah, this is racing on another level. It's like putting a fart can on a Lamborghini. But that's okay because the aftermarket exhaust is like six months out, and we don't want to wait six months. Because in six months, it's gonna be fucking winter. Yeah, that's def definitely not the best idea. But I think it'll stay there. That's not you too bad. Is it on there? Oh, they're pretty good. I think that'll stay. All right, test it out.
I think that's quite all right. And actually, it doesn't even look too terrible. It kind of looks cheap, but you know what? The heat is not going directly onto the tire. And uh, it's loud. And that's what we wanted. So that's not too bad for 10 bucks. Yeah. Want to take it on a ride yet? Around the block? See how if it stays on or not? Yeah, See how many neighbors you can piss off? By the way, hashtag be a racer. That's not bad for 10 bucks. It's, uh, it could sound smoother. Uh, that's just the sound of the bike, I guess, but uh, not bad. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll show the video. We also have a bit of Sunday fun. That's something you can do if you have a bike like that. So, yeah, see you guys next time.